Hey guys, how's it going? BCH Day here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, no, it's not FIFA 18 career mode. It is Football Manager 2018. The game came out on Friday, 10th of November. And you know what? I decided why not make a save on Football Manager and show it to you guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this save I'm going to do with PSG in Kareem, in this Football Manager save. Sorry, i got to get used to stop saying career mode. But this is the first non-FIFA 18 career mode video on the channel. So if you guys do enjoy, please smack the like button on the video if you want to see an episode 2. Subscribe for more daily content on the channel, whether it's career mode, football manager, anything you guys want. Comment down below. And yeah, we're getting started in this uh, football manager save right now as we take charge of Paris Saint-Germain. Just looking through our squad, checking all the new little features they've added. Well, because I didn't get Football Manager 2017, but I got 2016. So I have a brief idea and understanding of Football Manager. So if you guys have any tips and tricks or any good plays this time, please leave it down below in the comments. All your help is appreciated for this series. That is, it isn't my strongest game uh, you know, of choice. Of course, it is FIFA career mode. But Football Manager, I do have a brief understanding of. And we are seeing here the squad dynamics at the moment. You can see the groups, the social groups, the what players are most influential on your team. It's actually a really Really, really good source and you can see like what players have beef with each other what players are like working well together in the team so yeah it's very very useful uh, if you want to gain a you know understanding of the team from a social point of view not just you know stats wise and football wise you've got all your different categories there's a really really nice feature that they've added this year in football manager and yeah it's just so great I was looking through it and as you can see there's a core group of players you know includes all the big players and you've got some other players on the outskirts that aren't really doing that well, you know, they're, they're out of the team. So, yeah, it just, you gain a better understanding of your team and, you know, the social dynamics around it, who your influential players are. And, you know, it's just another great addition into Football Manager this year that, you know, I decided to take a look at. And you can see uh, your team performances, all that. And we go into our team tactics, our lineup, what we're going to do with this Paris Saint Germain team. And we're going to go for a 4 2 4 formation. And through this formation, I decided to, with we need two strikers for this formation. Mbappe on this game isn't really a striker, can't really play at that role. He's more of a winger, more of an attacking uh, uh, inside forward on this game. So, as you can see, we've gone with this team. We're building it right now. We've got Marquinhos and Thiago Silva at the back. Left back is Kurzawa. We're actually looking for another striker in this game. So, we, we tried to put Mbappe there, but he just didn't fit. And yeah, if you guys are wondering why this is post commentary, it's because I was doing this live commentary, but my microphone just didn't decide to work, had a little malfunction, and the audio was really, really bad. But I do have my live reaction for the Trophy de Champions final against Monaco. So stick around for that. It's going to be epic. But that uh, that's the reason why this isn't live com. Otherwise, this will be a live com, but it's the first post com in a while. So what I'm going to do is, you know, post com all the way up to the final and let you guys hear my reactions from that uh, Trophy de Champions final against Monaco because trust me, you would want to hear it. But unfortunately, it's the sound quality isn't that good. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy it either way. But we're putting on our tactics here. We are going to put the ball into the box, looking for the overlap with those wingers we have, and work the ball into the box. I never, I don't know, I don't really do shoot on side. I always try working into the box, look for the overlap. We're going to have a normal. Uh, defensive line as you can see we're putting on the stats be more expressive you know so yeah we've put the tactics on it looks all G for now as we've done our team we know what we're doing but I didn't realize that I don't know they sort of changed the controls or you know I was trying to get the team in their right position but I finally figured it out and trust me you know the the little circles they're comfortable in the position like how they're green yellow and all that I actually change them to what they're comfortable in so Trust me, they're not all playing in, you know, positions that they can't play. So, we do end up changing that. I just had to get used to the controls for Football Manager 2018. First time playing, so, you know, I might be a bit rusty. Don't know the controls as of yet as I'm fondling around with this. But, here is the main team we're going to put out uh, for the friendlies, pretty much. We have four friendlies, which I do simulate. So, hopefully... You guys will enjoy this series as much as I do. And if you do, I'll be making videos for this every day. So, 
Hopefully you guys enjoy. As we are changing everyone's positions, as I realized, I'm like, why is everyone not like in the same position? But then I realized you can change it with the new controls. So I did go ahead and do that and figured out that Mbappe wasn't really a striker that could partner with Cavani well. So what I decided to do is go out and get a striker. As you can see, our Cav Cavani is our main talisman. He's our main target man that we need up top. But I thought Mbappe was going to be, you know, the player next to him that can, like, support, you know, put balls into. But I decided, why not get an out-and-out -out striker who can partner Cavani? And I went for Antonio Sanabria. I did want to go for higher, you know, players, better quality players. But, unfortunately, uh, Aubameyang was way too expensive. I went for him. And PSG in this game only have 40 mil in the transfer budget. Are you kidding me? Football manager. So yeah, 40 mil on the transfer budget. You can't really buy anyone too expensive right now. But we've gone with Antonio Sanabria. He's pretty cheap. But hopefully in the future, he can, you know, uh, gain some potential, gain his rating up, and, you know, be a partner for Cavani and be contending for that spot. Hopefully he performs well this season. As you can see, we only got 40 million. That's not that much. I mean, in FIFA, they probably got over 100 million. But it's just... I don't know football manager, different game. We've we've put we're trying to negotiate the contract here with his agent, and he accepts it. Um, however, when I was recording this live, I was just so out of it. Did not know that um, the French transfer window didn't start until the end of the month, so he wasn't in the team for a while until I finalised the move. And then once the month hit, uh, he was in. So that was our first signing. If you guys have any transfer suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I just thought we needed a backup striker, a striker that can partner Cavani in this formation. So I just went out and got him, but we still have a bit of money left in the transfer kitty. As you can see there, Antonio Sanabria is going to get the number 10, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what number he got. It didn't let me... I don't know how to assign the number, so... So yeah, hopefully that's okay. Uh, his potential ability is, I think, four stars. So hopefully he's all right. Uh, hopefully he does well this season. As we put him on the pitch, you'll see what number he gets in the game because I just didn't know how to put the number on. But he's going to be a poacher up with Cavani and hopefully he does well for the team this year. So yeah, suggest some transfers in the comments. We do have a limited budget. I don't know why. So yeah, those are his stats. If you guys want to see, I'll just put it on the screen. You guys can have a look. So guys, what I'm going to do is show you guys my live reaction of the Trophy de Champions game against Monaco. The preseason game, kind of like the Charity Shield in England. But it's our chance to get some silverware in our first managerial game at the club of PSG. So we're going to go into that. Sorry, there's a bit of uh, audio issue, mic issue. Um, so hopefully you guys still enjoy and your ears don't bleed. But these are the friendlies that we are simulating past. So I hopefully you guys do enjoy my live reaction. Trust me, it's a banger. All right, the players are coming out at the moment. We're going to play. Get straight into the game here. We start off our first managerial game in charge. The Trophy de Champions, the first time we can get some you know actual silverware and if i change the gameplay to 3d i don't know just uh, we'll have a we'll have a look see how it does what am i doing right now pitch okay gameplay i'm gonna switch to director all right we're gonna see how this goes for now oh my gosh all right we're gonna have to go tactics take neymar off we're gonna have to put mbappe on former monaco player that looks decent winger Support. Okay, we've swapped in with Di Maria. Di Maria can be a winger on attack. All right, let's play that. It's unfortunate that Neymar had to go off injured, but Lucas Moura on for Neymar. Who knows how long he's going to be injured for? Nah, we potential foot injury, so maybe a broken ankle or something to do with that. But we get a chance here. Uh, Falcao is on the break. Lamar. Gives it into Moutinho. We're getting attacked here. Jemison, the centre back, is getting forward. Diakby through to Falcao. And Monaco get the opening goal in the Trophy de Champions. But it's offside. It gets called offside. Redmond Falcao, goal disallowed. We are in dreamland at the moment. I thought we went 1 0 down there. Alright, so we keep going in this game. We don't have our star man, Neymar. Just before the beginning of the season, he might be out for a bit, but. Hopefully, we can get this silverware to, you know, compensate for that Neymar loss. And hopefully, he's not out for too long. But Monaco can continue to be on the attack here. Diakpi is through here. Gets a shot away, but it's just off target. Uh, we might go into tactics. 
Jack B looks to be a bit of a danger. I mean, he already had a few shots on goal. Moutinho gives it back into him. And that is, in, in fact, a goal for Monaco. No offside there. Diakhtabi has been a danger, and we've predicted uh, the danger, and he has, you know, haunted us and got a goal. We're going to skip that replay and go, hopefully, go into the first half, trying to get an equaliser back here. So far, we're getting a bit dominated. I might give a message out to everyone. Get creative, man. We haven't had enough shots on target. All right, it's half time. Not the best position to be in. Neymar got injured in the 12th minute. And Adama Diakhtabi got the goal in the 29th to put Monaco ahead. All right, we finally have a highlight here. Wow, okay, Verratti through to Di Maria. He crosses in. Lucas Moura, the Neymar substitute slash replacement, gets us a goal. He scored against Real Madrid in the friendly. I trusted him. I, I, I put him on hoping he'd get a goal in this game. And he has done so. Di Maria whips it in. And Lucas Moura absolutely smashed that pass. Uh, Subasic in goal for Monaco. And we've got ourselves an equaliser here in the 76th minute, I believe it was. All right, we have another highlight here. Can we get a goal here in the dying embers of the game? 84th minute. Verratti has a shot, but it goes off target. Carrillo, they signed Carrillo. Jovetic is on, they've signed him. Uh, they've got a bit of space here if they pass to that guy on the wing. Oh, we might concede in the 90th minute. Nah, nothing happens. And we're probably going into extra time in the Trophy de Champions final. Oh no, it goes straight to penalties. Wow, okay. Gonna have a watch of these penalties and see what happens. Oh my gosh, okay. This, is t this makes an interesting turn to the game. Alright, so now it's down to the players themselves to get a penalty. Come on, Cavani, our best penalty taker gets us off 1-0. Let's hope uh, Fabinho misses, but he's pretty good at penalties, uh, and he puts it past Ariola there. Verratti is up next. 1-1 in the penalty shootout. Verratti makes it 2-1 to PSG. This could be a very long and excruciating penalty shootout for us. Yeah, as Jovetic makes it 2-2. How did, how did Ariola not save that? It looked like it got his, his hand to it. Mbappe, oh, Mbappe misses his penalty. The most, one of the most expensive players in the world misses his penalty. Correa makes a 3-2 to Monaco. It's looking a bit bleak at the moment. If Thiago Silva misses, we're in deep trouble. Yes, Thiago Silva makes it 3-3. Come on, Lamar. He was linked to Arsenal in the summer. Hopefully he misses. Nah, he gets it. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Who's our next penalty taker? You better get it in, hopefully. Kurzawa. I don't know, man. Gonna have to see. Penalty shootouts. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Kurzawa. You can do this. Line yourself up and smack it past Subasic, please. And he has done. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Subasic looked to have saved that. Monaco, come on. Just, just miss it like Mbappe did. Moutinho, he's good at penalties as well. They've got a lot of good penalty takers in their team. Uh, we're going to have to see. Hopefully, he might miss one. I don't know how good Ariola's saving abilities are from penalties. But Moutinho lines it up. He misses! We're back on level terms in the penalty shootout. This is absolutely insane. Oh, my gosh. Lucas Moura steps up. He makes it 5-4. Uh, if, if Monaco missed this, I think we've won. I don't, don't, I'm not getting ahead of myself here, but if Ariola comes out with a save, he, we might win our first silverware. Sadiba, he's not that great at penalties. Hopefully, he misses. Oh, my gosh. 5-4. If he misses, I think we win. Nope, he gets it. Oh, okay. Draxler, come on, mate. You're fresh off the bench. Get a penalty. It's 5-5. Five, five. Have we won it? Nah, 6-5. Alright, I got ahead of myself there. 6-5. What a penalty. Draxler successfully converts. Good on him. Oh my gosh. Who's up next? Cilia? Cilia? Never heard of him, but he's up for the penalty. Come on, Ariola. Come out big in this. 6-5. If Monaco missed this. Nah, they get it. 6-6. Six, six. Mounier. It's coming. It's going to go to the goalkeepers. Watch this go to goalkeepers. Mounier... 
successfully convert 7-6. We've got the advantage in the penalty shootout. We just need Monaco to miss another penalty. Oh, come on, man. George A, one of their center backs, is up for it. Oh, this is intense, man. Lucas Mora was having a good game, according to that Paris, uh, the performance indicator there. But Jorge is up to this one, and he gets it in. 7-7 on penalties. Oh, my gosh. This is very intense. Rabio, please, man. Don't miss. And he gets it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is, this is looking very, very... This is looking very down to the wire. 8-7 we're leading on penalties. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Jemison, another center back from Monaco. Who knows what's going to happen here. Jemison, the Brazilian. What is he going to do? Come on, Ariola, Come out on top. No. Nah. I swear, no keeper has saved it. Well, besides the Monaco keeper, but... All right, Marquinhos. 9-8 in penalties. This this is insane. For the first penalty shootout in this, in this football manager save... What is going on here? Absolute scenes at the moment. Diara, I think they're right back or left back. I've no idea. But he's coming on for this penalty. <laughs> come on, Monaco. Just miss a penalty. Nah, 9-9 nine, nine on penalties and it's come down to keepers. Ariola is taking a penalty here. He gets it. All right, Monaco keeper, Subasic. Please, please, for the love of God. Please miss. I'm I'm asking for you to miss. Come on, you're a goalkeeper. Just, just you know, <laughs> this is too intense for me, honestly. I mean, if we lose going out on penalties like this, it's going to be a bit shattering. But <gasps> Ariola saves. Do we win? Yes, we do. Ariola gets the save from Subasic. It went down to keepers in that penalty shootout. But we, Paris Saint-Germain, are winners of the Trophy de Champions. Oh, Champs, I don't know how to say the French name of it, but... Oh my god, what a game. 1-1, Neymar was injured in the first half, Mora came on, he scored in the 77th minute, went straight to penalties, and went through the whole team, 1-1. Ariola makes his first save of the penalty shootout to win that, and we are champions. It's a pre-season tournament, but it's good to get our hands on some, uh, you know, early silverware this season. And we can say we've won our first... Silverware of the season. Uh, those match stats there. We're going to talk to the team. What a final. What a what an absolute game. What a penalty shootout that was. Winning 10-9 on penalties. Uh, I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. Everyone is looking delighted. What a way to end off the episode, guys. So, yeah, guys. That was my live reaction to the Coupe de France. No, it was the Trophy de Champions pre-season final against Monaco. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry about the audio issues once again, but I hope you did all enjoy the first episode of the Football Manager Curry Mode Save for PSG on the channel. If you do enjoy and want more, smack the like button for episode 2. Subscribe for more daily videos, and I hope to see you guys on the very next video.